Joe Flacco. Now, now there's a guy that has played 15 playoff games. Take a look at this. First five were kind of rough. Now, he did win one as a rookie. Uh, he did win a playoff game as a rookie. Uh, but first five games for, for Flacco were pretty rough. But here are his last ten. Seven and three, including AFC title Super Bowl win. 60% uh, completions. You, you see uh, 2,500 yards. 24 touchdowns, just four picks. Average game, 256, 2.4 touchdowns, 0.4 interceptions. Um, again, if you're getting that average game in the playoffs from Joe Flacco, you got to feel pretty good about, you know, the Browns against anybody, really. No, oh, there's no doubt. Three things kind of stand out at me. Even when he's the the quote unquote rough games. He still went three and two. Now I know quarterback wins is a quarterback record is a, you know, we can argue about that stat, but it wasn't like he was killing his team and they weren't winning games. Um, then he gets on that run and, you know, the fact that he throws for whatever it was, 260 something, and he's on some streak of 250 plus, it's nine out of 10 or 10 out of 11, which even when he was on these bad Jets teams losing games, he still threw for a bunch of yards, which gives you the chance, right? It moves the ball up and down the field. It gives you a chance to score points. And that's hugely important. And then the point four interceptions in that playoff run up there, I mean, that's the big concern, right, is he's thrown a lot of picks. You know, throughout his career, he's thrown a good number of picks. And I think that comes with the type of player he is, the type of quarterback he is. Not afraid to throw in a tight window. Throws downfield a lot, which increases the chance of interceptions. And this year, he right, he's thrown a good amount since he's been with the Browns. But if he's care more careful with the ball in the playoffs and throws one or fewer um, I give the Browns a really good chance to win these games because I have little doubt that he's going to put up big numbers throwing the ball, right? So if he's throwing for 280 with two touchdowns and he throws 0-1 interception, I like the Browns' chances. Yeah, I agree with you. And the other thing is if – if the interceptions don't give short fields or pick sixes, mm -hmm. not all not all interceptions are created equal in the playoffs. If you're giving the other team a long field because it's you know it's third down and you're trying to fit, that's different than if you're turning it over inside your half of the field um, in the playoffs as well.